As Missoula Mayor John Ingen looks at 2019, he sees a promising year in housing and economic development. Construction at the Riverfront Triangle is expected to begin this year, and Public Works will take a long-range look at transportation planning across the city. Uh, well, you know, I, I, think the, I think the story of 2019 will, um, will be largely a continuation of 2018 with regard to Development. I think a, a couple of twists in that um, will have some. Will have some. I think uh, interesting and productive uh, policies for council to consider around housing, mm -hmm. uh, and and how to how to provide more housing for more people in a growing community. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm looking forward to that. That's that's the product of a couple years of hard work. Uh, and a lot of stakeholder involvement, and usually those processes produce pretty interesting and meaningful results. The development and business community continues to be bullish on Missoula. Uh, you know, I, I, I say that we've been discovered, and I think that's true. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we've been discovered in particular by um, by companies who recognize the value of the workforce. Uh, and some of the competitive advantages we have in a community our size versus, you know, if you, if you want to start a tech business, uh, doing it here versus doing it in San Francisco where, um, where just about everything is stacked against you. You have a critical mass of, of, of tech industry, but you're competing for employees, you're competing for space, um, you're competing for, uh, for uh, investment. Um, you're dealing with all the issues that come from big metros, uh, sky-high housing prices, congestion, all of that. So um, I think what, what some companies are recognizing is that this is a place where they can do business. With an eye on job growth, Ingen will also be watching the evolution of the Missoula Economic Partnership. Grant Keir took over as executive director last year, and Julie Lacey was recently named director of economic development. Think of the economic partnership as, um, as uh, uh, reinventing itself to a certain degree, uh, largely based on the strengths and successes that we've had. Um, and um, between the, the report we commissioned on Missoula's economic health and vitality and the recommendations in that report, as well as things that are happening organically and the leads we get both from outside of the community and then local businesses who are looking for assistance and connection, I think MEP will continue, the partnership will continue to play a vital role in all of that um, and, and quite possibly a larger role in all of that. After planning for much of the year, the City Council in December officially annexed 3,200 acres west of Reserve Street. Ingham believes the move will aid the city in long-term planning. All of our growth plans talk about us being a compact city, a city in which we can provide services effectively, um, and, and having, having a dense residential development as well as industrial development directly to adjacent to the city but not not fully participating and paying for city services. Um, there's an equity issue there, uh, but it allows us to work more collaboratively with uh, property owners in that neighborhood, um, as well as the airport and other government entities to really maximize what we can do with precious land in the valley. Back in 2011, a team of developers were granted exclusive rights to plan and construct a hotel at the Riverfront Triangle. The project has grown in scope and Ingen, along with other city officials, believe construction will begin this year. I think 2019 is the year as well, uh, and, and there are a couple of things that lead me to believe that. One is that, uh, that I had a quick conversation with our development partners there uh, before Christmas, and our intention is to try to get together this month and catch up. But, um, but everything, I've, everything I've heard from, from staff is that um, we're full speed ahead. Uh, the, the, um, the proliferation of, of hotel rooms downtown does not scare anyone. In fact, it seems to make people more enthusiastic mm -hmm. uh, about what's happening downtown. And uh, so I think we're, we're going to see some activity there in 2019. 
Ingham believes downtown growth and development, including hotels and the jobs they provide, will ripple out to other businesses. He would also like to see more downtown housing options across all income levels and believes new opportunities may exist. Well, the way I think of hotel rooms, particularly in the downtown, is um, uh, what we've talked about is, is having people live downtown. Uh, people who are in hotels are living downtown. They may be transient, uh, but they're living downtown, so they're spending money, they're visiting museums and restaurants, um, they're, they're participating in the community, and I think that you know, any, any metro where there's a thriving downtown hotel, there's activity, and that activity always suggests to other commercial developers, and I think residential developers, that this is a safe place to be and a safe place to invest. Mm -hmm. You know, my hope is that in addition to hotel rooms, we start having some other full-time residents downtown, and I think, there, I think there's some interesting opportunity for that. The Trump administration has approved opportunity zones across the country, and the West Broadway Corridor and North Side in Missoula has been identified as one. Ingen said the investment such zones attract could help revitalize the areas. The opportunity zones appear to have uh, tremendous potential to concentrate investment. Uh, there, there is a big tax credit at the end of a project, and um, I know of at least uh, two attorneys who are working to establish what are called these opportunity funds. Mm -hmm. um, that then can be used to invest. So there's activity on the ground today. Uh, that corridor, um, my, my hope for the Opportunity Zones is that we, that, that the intent of, um, of providing an economic incentive to raise the quality of life in a low-income census tract. My hope is that that comes to pass. I'd like to see um, quality housing there. I'd like to see quality infrastructure. I'd like to see quality um, services. Uh, and that extra incentive that comes from the Opportunity Zones should be helpful.